Bishop Van has named John Romeri to the newly created position of Director of Music Ministries at Christ Cathedral. While his credentials are impressive, his love of music blossomed at an early age. For me, music entered my life uh, from a neighbor. My parents were not musical. Um, I, I came from a parish in a little town in the middle of California, so the music was good. I started probably at seven or eight uh, on the piano, later switched to the organ. Of course, the sisters in the school, Sisters of St. Joseph, uh, got me going. And of course, before you knew it, I was playing for mass, and you know how that goes in a Catholic school. Uh, but it was somehow that inspiration that led me to sacred music. And uh, you know, so I've been grateful for that and the amazing mentors I've had my whole life. Well, coming here to Orange is, is thrilling for me. Uh, to be the first music director of such an amazing place uh, and the possibilities are endless. You know, we're so excited about creating a music ministry and turning our parish into the cathedral parish. The musician at a cathedral has a, a very important role. Uh, not only do you sort of set the tone for the diocese, uh, you're the mother church, and so that means uh, the musicians, the other parishes of the diocese, look to the cathedral. The cathedral, in a sense, must become a music center. Uh, it becomes the place where not only we look to the treasury of our repertoire, our 2,000-year history as a Catholic church, uh, but it's the place where we must maintain chant, we must maintain polyphony. We must sing the music of Palestrina and the great music of Mozart and all of the great composers who have been part of our Catholic tradition, as well as cathedral churches have the responsibility to commission pieces. Certainly as we look to move into the cathedral, we'll be commissioning new works. So we must continue to bring new music to life as well as honor the traditions of our faith. Well, for me, the top three priorities would be really getting the parish organized. Right now we have many masses in many languages, and so one of my first things will be meeting with all of the directors of all of our choirs, the Vietnamese choir, the Spanish choir, I've already played for the Spanish choir, um, I've already been part of their liturgies, but uh, it's about common repertoire as a parish. Right now we're 11 independent masses, and what we want to be is one parish. Number two is the diocesan level music, uh, because a part of my job is to take care of diocesan liturgies. And so uh, we have rites of election coming up. I'll be playing five of those in the next few weeks all over the diocese. We have our chrism mass, so our diocesan choir is being reformed and reorganized so that we'll be ready to sing that, I think, for the first time here in the Arboretum. Uh, and the third thing is to begin to look at what concerts might be coming here. Uh, we have Wheaton College on March 9th, that's the very first one, and they've actually bringing a 70-piece orchestra here, and they've asked me to be the organ soloist for that concert. So I'll be playing the very famous Saint-Saëns Organ Symphony with them uh, here in our Arboretum with our beautiful Aeolian Skinner organ. We will have uh, concerts here, great sacred music concerts, religious music, but not necessarily liturgical. For example, a Mozart Mass would not fit into the context of an hour-long Mass anymore, uh, but is a great piece of religious music. And so it must be also heard at cathedrals. It's also an evangelistic tool, because somebody who may not come onto the campus to attend a Mass might come onto the campus in our beautiful building here in the Arboretum, but also when we uh, go to the cathedral, they will come there because there's an orchestra and a full, full choir uh, to hear great music of visiting artists as well as our own musicians of the diocese. So it's a big responsibility to have great sacred music in a great sacred space. Here in the Diocese of Orange, we have our diocesan choir, and we're beginning auditions for that right away. But in the summer, we're going to have a week-long camp for children to sort of launch our diocesan children's choir. In other words, uh, singers from all over the diocese whose director might say, go represent us in the diocesan choir. It too will sing for big events here on the campus, uh, in the cathedral, here in the Arboretum. Uh, but those children, uh, you know, will be part of uh, just another part of the music program of our diocese. Music is not just a gift to our congregation, but it's a gift to us. Uh, you know, the arts has been something that the Catholic Church has fostered forever. 
Uh, we've, we've created great art from the Sistine Chapel to the music of Mozart uh, because of commissioning music, because of bringing music to life. And, and that music comes to us uh, to be able to recreate. And creating music is an amazing gift to every musician. Uh, and traveling with our choirs, that's an amazing thing. Uh, to have been in Rome a few weeks ago making music in that great space. Uh, you know, it touches those children, but it also touches me. Uh, each time you make music, you're recreating it. You know, and the church even tells us that the music is the greatest of the arts. Because not only is it great art, but it carries the word of God. You know, so there's that second inspiration because of the text. And so music just brings us to another level, you know, sometimes just transports us to beyond our daily lives. You know, it's a, it's a great gift and uh, I'm happy to have uh, had that gift given to me. And the best thing I've been able to do as a musician is to give it to everyone else.